So Apple made an announcement a few days ago about a new product called the Vision Pro. Basically, the Vision Pro is a VR headset. Although Apple does not want to call it a VR headset, they are calling it spatial computing. Now, I think that Apple is making a great choice not calling it a VR headset because over the years, VR has gotten a bad reputation and it's mostly thought of as a game platform. And it seems that Apple wants to get away from that completely. Apple does not want people to think of the Vision Pro as a gaming headset. They want people to think of it as a tool for serious work. And I think that um, they have a great point. I have been into virtual reality for quite a while, and I always thought that the worst thing about virtual reality was the name, because again, it had a reputation of being a immersive gaming console, essentially. And I always thought that um, VR had a lot more potential than that. And I myself am not really a gamer. I do like games and I occasionally use my VR headset for games. But for the most part, my interest in VR is uh, being creative and pr productive. So for example, I use Gravity Sketch, which is a computer-aided design application. And this is what I think VR has the potential to be. It has the potential to be a very creative uh, technology. And uh, if it's uh, developed in a way that is, is right, I think that it can become something that uh, a lot of people will get into, many more people than are into it today. So let's get back to the Apple Vision Pro. First of all, we, we have to agree that um, it is a beautiful device. It is really well made. Uh, it's aesthetically um, incredibly attractive. And Apple clearly took a lot of time to put it together, to design it, to make sure that everything is just right. All the T's are crossed. All the I's are dotted before they introduced the product to the public. But is it a new product? I think that much of what the Vision Pro brings to the table has already uh, been done. It, it exists already, but Apple's take on it is so elegant, so incredibly Apple-like that you know they've essentially refined what has already existed. Now, one of the things that was really interesting when it was announced was that um, the promo video that they showed um, didn't really show a lot of sort of human connection with others. It's not really um, promoted, at least it wasn't promoted at the announcement as a device for connecting with others. And this is very much uh, unlike uh, what Meta's vision of VR is. So um, Zuckerberg, uh, talked about the Vision Pro after the announcement. And he said that one of the things that was interesting was the fact that all the people who were using it were alone. Uh, they were not part of a community. Whereas um, Meta's version of, of VR is to create a community. The metaverse is a place where people can meet, where they can interact, where, can they, where they can be uh, productive and creative together. And um, I think that he's absolutely right about this. The Vision Pro seems to be, at least the way it was uh, uh, promoted uh, during the announcement, seems to be a device that is made for one person to use at a time. And it's a device that takes you into yourself rather than connects you with others. Now, one of the things that Apple wants to uh, promote is uh, using this device as a way of doing work. And I think it's a great idea. I think that uh, doing work in a spatial computing kind of environment has a lot of potential. The problem with it right now, and I think this is the problem that Apple is going to run into when they release this device, 
is that it's a heavy, bulky uh, device that you have to put over your head, uh, over your eyes, and um, it's fairly difficult to, to work in. Even with uh, the virtual reality headset that I have now, while it's uh, okay to use for a little short period of time, if you keep it on your head for an extended period of time, it can be very uncomfortable. So while in principle, it's a great idea, whether people will actually work with this device is, um, is questionable. I think that what will happen is that if people buy it, they will be really excited by it. There is a wow factor to it. And I think that people will really be uh, wowed by that incredible sort of uh, vision that uh, you know it brings to the table of of being in this spatial environment, and uh, it is incredible. People who have not experienced virtual reality are wowed by it because they really could not imagine what it's actually like. In order to actually uh, experience virtual reality, you have to be in virtual reality. You can't really understand what it's like by watching a two-dimensional video of virtual reality. So the notion of actually doing work in spatial computing kind of environment is a great idea. And I think that people will be wowed by that concept. But what happens after the wow factor? Does the Vision Pro have anything to offer that more mundane 2D options don't. And this is critical because given the fact that the Vision Pro is so heavy, whoever buys it may be really excited at the beginning. They may use it all the time, but eventually they may get tired of putting it on in order to do work. Um, I was watching a video by another YouTuber who basically said that the Achilles heel of the Vision Pro and any virtual reality headset is that it takes a fair amount of intention to actually use it. It's not transparent like uh, a smartphone. You take your smartphone with you, you take your iPhone or you take your Android with you, and you don't have to think about using it. It's just there. When you feel like it, you take it out and you can use it. You don't have to self-consciously think about using it. And I think that with virtual reality and with uh, the Vision Pro, you will have to self-consciously think about using it before actually using it. And this is a problem um, because given the two options, uh, using the Vision Pro or just using your uh, smartphone or using a computer, most people, after a while, after they get past the wow uh, factor of the uh, Vision Pro, might just choose to use their mundane every, everyday uh, laptop or their uh, smartphone because it's easier. It's transparent. You don't have to think about it. It's not bulky and heavy. So the essential question for me is, will people bother using it after the wow factor is normalized, after they get used to it, when it's not wow anymore? It's just ordinary and eventually it will become ordinary. So the answer to that I think is people will use it if there is a wow app that will be developed for it. In other words, something that is absolutely original to spatial computing. I think that this is something that Apple needs to work on. Developing an app or many apps that are specific to spatial computing. What I saw during uh, the announcement were some really neat things, but I didn't see anything in the Vision Pro that can't be done just on an iPhone or on a laptop or any other uh, types of computing devices. And this is a problem. So they need to work on something special that can only be done in spatial reality. Now, there's another thing, of course, that um, we will need to get over, and that is the kind of self-conscious factor of wearing a huge head device um, over your eyes. 
they had a couple of uh, examples during the um, during the display uh, of this new uh, technology of of people doing things in public with it, and um, I don't know if people were, are going to be uh, comfortable doing uh, things in public wearing the Vision Pro. They had an example of a person on an airplane watching a movie wearing the headset, and I don't know if most people would feel comfortable wearing a headset in public. I mean, I feel goofy putting on my virtual reality headset when I'm alone in my basement, let alone taking it out and putting it on in public. Uh, I think most people would feel really self-conscious and would never do it. And um, I think this is just a problem with the technology. It's one thing to wear glasses like these. It's another thing to wear a big bulky headset like a virtual reality headset. So this is another thing. The technology isn't really, I think, ready for prime time. They, um, the headsets are getting smaller. This is a beautiful headset. And I think this is just a technical issue. I think eventually these devices will get much smaller and will become much more, um, I think, um, uh, usable in a, a public kind of environment. But I'm not sure that that's the case yet. So I think Apple was stretching it when they were showing people using it in public. Um, because I, I don't know that anyone would. Now, th there's another thing related to that, which is that let's say that somebody does wear this in public. I think that's a bit of a an issue given the fact that it actually will um, remove people from com uh, connecting with one another if people are walking around with these huge uh, virtual reality headsets. So this is uh, an issue. Um, we don't want people to uh, walk around with VR headsets over their eyes while they're out in public because it will, I think, get in the way of genuine uh, social connections. Can you imagine everybody sitting at uh, Starbucks wearing a, a Vision Pro headset or any other virtual reality headset, I think it would be really goofy and it would be actually uh, scary and uh, dystopian in, in many ways. So uh, I would be really afraid of that. So I think, again, uh, the device needs to have something more social in it. It needs to uh, be able to connect people rather than um, bring them apart. The final thing I just want to talk about is the price. Why? Why? I know that uh, Apple makes a great product. Apple is an incredible company. Um, it is an, an elegant uh, device. But why is it costing $3,500 to sell? $3,500 US. Now, I'm not trying to take anything away from Apple. It is an incredible device. I think Apple did an amazing job um, you know, developing it. Um, obviously, the technology is um, fairly uh, sophisticated and it has uh, probably the best uh, components in it. But $3,500 is a lot of money. And I don't know that they will be able to get even people who are avid Apple followers to, to bite um, with that kind of a price. Although you never know. Um, Apple fans uh, are willing to, uh, I think, sell a kidney to get the latest device from Apple. So I wouldn't um, say no categorically, but it is an expensive device, which limits, I, I, I think, the number of people who are going to be willing to, um, to buy it. And it also, of course, um, begs the question, as good as it is, is it seven times better than the upcoming Meta Quest 3. So Meta is coming out with a new device, which they're going to sell for $499 US. And um, while it is probably not as good as the Vision Pro, it is important to ask, is the Vision Pro seven times as good as the Meta Quest 3? So in conclusion, this is a very exciting development. And if nothing else, I think that Apple will probably make spatial computing and virtual reality more mainstream with the announcement of the Vision Pro. Apple 
may succeed in bringing VR, um, I mean spatial computing, to the masses, which is something that uh, I think we do want because uh, VR, spatial computing, uh, has really found it hard to take hold. And it is an incredible technology, I think, with a lot of potential. Um, but of course, the main thing of, that we need is to make it smaller. We need to have uh, something that isn't going to be bulky and heavy. And we need to have a lot more apps that can only be done in uh, virtual reality. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm really curious to know uh, what uh, you think uh, about this new technology and whether you think it's going to actually take hold and uh, become something that everybody's going to be using um, to do their uh, computing with, to do their work with, uh, and so on. Um, is, it, is it something that is going to actually be like the iPhone, uh, a game changer, or is it going to just be a fad and, and die uh, like VR has done in the past? Uh, leave your comments below. Uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. Until next time, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.